everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Erica and today I have a Trader Joe's haul for you um, I did a Trader Joe's haul a couple of weeks back but this visit was much much different um, I just found out uh, about a week or so ago that my son is gluten intolerant I'll go ahead and link that video up above in a card that way you can see how it is that I found out that he had this gluten intolerance. So the reason why I went to Trader Joe's on this particular visit was to find foods that were gluten free that I could feed to my son um, and not stress out about it too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and share those with you. Um, if you are on a gluten free journey and have any suggestions of something that I should try here at Trader Joe's, please let me know. So, so there's a few things here that I found at Trader Joe's. First thing I found, chocolate chip brownie mix because who doesn't have a sweet tooth and I don't want to deprive him of those types of things. I also got this buttermilk pancake and waffle mix. This is for breakfast. Um, he doesn't like to eat cereal, which is actually a blessing in disguise. So I will go ahead and try to make him some pancakes and waffles because he does like that. The next thing I got were some rice crumbs and these can substitute as bread crumbs. He was so worried about the fact that he can't have panko, um, but he doesn't eat panko all the time. I will definitely let him know that this substitutes as panko and we will make something with that. I got this organic brown rice pasta, which is also gluten free. And I got this penne pasta and this is a brown rice pasta and it's also gluten free. I picked up these turkey meatballs in my last haul. I tried out the meat meatballs and they were really good. So I wanna try out these turkey ones. I also picked up another one of these, everything but the bagel seasoning. It is so good, I really, really love it. And my mom's here visiting, so I want her to take this home with her. Um, we haven't tried this, but we are big chili lime fans, so I want to try the Trader Joe's version. I have heard that it's really good as well. I also wanted to try this Trader Joe's 21 seasoning. I know it's not focusing very well, but it has onions, spices, black pepper, celery, basil, oregano, mustard, coriander. Um, I don't know. I just wanted to try it. I'm always up to trying something new. I picked these up. These are supposed to be super amazing reusable kitchen cloths. It has two of them. and. Um, it's supposed to save paper and reduce waste. I do use a lot of paper towels when I clean, so I'm gonna give these a try out and see if I can reduce the use of my paper towels. I'll let you know if they're good or not. I actually picked up two of these. These were my husband's request. He um, really, really liked the last one that we bought. We used it on a brisket and the brisket came out so amazing. It wasn't salty, it had a good flavor. And so he asked that I get him two. My son and my husband love barbecue sauce, so I picked up a new barbecue sauce for them to try. Um, I'm gonna look at the ingredients to make sure there's no gluten in this. I'm actually not too sure yet, but I will check that out. And if it has gluten, then it's something my son will not be eating. I also picked up this um, clarified butter, which is ghee. My husband's always eyeing this at the grocery store. So I figured that I'd try this here. It was half the price of what it is at Albertsons. I think it was like $4.49. I've never tried this, but if any of you have, let me know how you use it. I picked up this body wash. Um, I'm out of body wash and it smelled so good. I also picked up some rose water facial toner. It's hot here in the summer in Arizona and I feel like I could use this. Next thing I got was this soy chorizo. I don't know if any of you have ever tried soy chorizo, but it is really good. It was like $2.29 I believe, so it's not too bad. I also picked up these gluten-free bagels. I figured I could make my son a sandwich for school in them, or a breakfast sandwich if he chooses. 
but they also look really good. It says everything but the bagel, gluten free. Picked up two rice and cheddar pastas, which is actually just mac and cheese with gluten free pasta. I mean, I'm sure he's going to want to eat mac and cheese every once in a while. The next thing that I got were organic acai puree packets and I'm really interested in eating some acai bowls and so that is why I picked this up. There's four packs in this package here. I also bought this cauliflower pizza crust. My son loves pizza so I, I hope that he'll like that. The last thing that I got are um, these ahi tuna steaks and I actually meant to get swordfish steaks, but that's okay. We love seafood, so I'm sure this will be just fine. And that is everything that I got today. Um, this definitely is not um, a money savings haul, which are what I like to gravitate to, but eating gluten-free is not the cheapest. Um, I'm still trying to find ways to find foods that I can make here at home, the bread, the cauliflower crust, and I'm sure I will share those recipes as I start to make them. But for now, I'm just buying them just to kind of ease our way into this and make it as easy as possible for my son to still get foods that he likes just without the gluten. So I hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you want to see more hauls or want to see more gluten-free choices that I'm making or foods that I may be making, subscribe and I would love to get to know you. Um, leave a comment down below if you are gluten-free or strive to be gluten-free and any suggestions that you may have, I would love to have them. So leave a comment down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.